Hello everyone, I am your narrator, Paranormal Poet, and a happy spooky Saturday to you. Join me as we delve into another true, terrifying, user-submitted story. Story 8, Not Just a Game Hello, Paranormal Poet. To preface, I never believed in the paranormal nor did I believe the Ouija board can be used to communicate. I thought it was nothing more than a fun party game played by friends at sleepovers to scare the ones who believed it most, till I was the one that got scared. My name is Alex, and this encounter happened a few years back. I was with five of my friends, and we were all eating dinner at one of my friend's house before we ran off to do what normal teens would usually do, Playing video games, gossiping amongst each other, it was a normal sleepover. While we were all chilling in his room, someone said, Didn't you say you had an attic? We should explore, see what's up there. We all agreed, stood up, and made our way to his attic. Upon opening the door, we locked eyes with a terrifying discovery. A spider. No, that wasn't the scary part. It was the Ouija board, covered in dust and laying there since it was last used. All of us weren't fearful, though some of us showed signs of anxiety. One of the boys said, We need to play this at 3am. Come on, let's do it. We went back downstairs to kill time until 3. Some of us napped to get the energy necessary to stay up that long. When the parents were asleep, we made our way to the attic, where it was waiting for us. We took the box lid off and placed the planchette in the middle of the board. One of the friends grabbed a lantern, which we used to light up the room. Everyone promised they wouldn't purposely move it. I figured it was a lie and decided to play along if they said it. Besides, what could go wrong? It was a game after all. One of my friends, we'll call him Anthony, chanted in a soft voice. We call out to spirits near and far to introduce us to who you are. Only those who come in good faith may be allowed to talk. We put our hands on the planchette and felt it moving. It made a transit to the letters H-E-L-L-O. The game had just begun. I asked if whatever was moving it liked anyone in this room. It made its way to A-L-E-X, and now I started to feel weirded out. Jokingly I said, I appreciate it, but I'm already taken. While we chuckled, the planchette went to no. At this point, my friends were probably perpetrating the whole thing, so I had enough and decided to call it a night while everyone else played. I quietly ran to the room where I'd be sleeping and laid my head down. I began drifting off to sleep when all of a sudden, a deep male voice said, Alex. It wasn't in my ear, it was somewhere in the room. Now my heart was racing. I looked at the corner of my friend's room and standing near the closet, was a shadow darker than dark, leering at me with glowing eyes. For the first time, I felt fear. Then I saw it go through the closet door. This night was unforgettable. There was nothing my skeptical mind could deduce that could explain what I saw or heard. Now I'm a little more open-minded. To your viewers, I offer this piece of advice. The Ouija board may be fun to play, but it isn't just you playing with spirits. It's a way for spirits to play with your fear. (laughs) Play if you dare. Be sure to subscribe for more narrated content. This has been your narrator, Paranormal Poet.